hello 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 happy sunday i know i posted a message earlier but i am here with another message i'm saying this message because i feel like this is an ongoing issue that we're facing in this reality of life and i just want to get a little message through some of y'all so how can i start this off because i know once the spirit start getting in me i'm about to move so trying to see what is the best way to start this message let's talk about seasons seasons are temporary seasons change seasons are not made to last forever right I think one thing that people fail to realize is that everybody have their own season. Mm. Let me just start off with that. I'm going to repeat myself. Everybody has their own season. Okay? Keep that in mind. You might see somebody winning, getting everything they've been wanting, getting everything they desire, just winning in life right but what a lot of people fail to realize is that's that person's season this is their time what a lot of people fail to realize is you don't know what that person went through to get to where they are you don't know the sacrifices they made you don't know the things that they had to give up you don't know how many sleepless nights they could have had you don't know the sacrifices. Like, you don't know nothing. You don't know what this person went through. You don't know their journey. All you see is the cars, the house, the money, the fly clothes, taking trips. That person deserves it. This is their season. They bust their ass. They work hard. They made sacrifices. They gave things up. Some people like to go to the club every weekend. Hmm. Hmm. And do the same stuff every weekend. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what are you going to do to change your life? What are you going to do to level up? For me, I can't be in the same place I was two months ago. Not even yesterday. I'm always trying to level up. I'm always trying to grow. I'm always trying to elevate. I cannot stay the same person. The old joy. Yeah, I used to go clubbing three, four times a week. I did. But guess what? It got played out. I realized I'm spending money buying clothes, wearing it one time. What benefit am I getting out of going out every week? Nothing. So I'm here to tell you, stop comparing your life to other people's lives. Just because you see somebody out here winning, don't mean that your time ain't gonna come. It's just not your time. One thing I had to learn is that God going to give you something when he know you're ready to have it. Let me say that again because I don't think y'all hear me. God is going to give you something when he know you are ready to have it. You might look at this person and see they're a CEO of a company. Dang, I wish I had my own business. But do you know what it takes to be a CEO of a company? God might not want you to have that right now. Or maybe that's not even a route that you need to be on. Maybe God wants you to take a different route. You need to find what your purpose on this earth is and stick to your purpose. You cannot want to be like somebody else and expect what they got going on to be your situation. Because it's not going to go like that. That's just like a woman seeing her best friend happily in love, married, husband spoiling her, buying her flowers. She wants that. But that's not your man. That is not what God has for you. You got to wait for your time. You got to wait for God to give you the man that you need in your life. It may not be your time to be happily married right now. And I'm just saying that as an example. I ain't throwing no shots to nobody. I'm just saying. Stop comparing your life to other people's lives. A lot of people on this earth does that. And all it does is block your blessings because then you start getting jealous you start being envious that's not your journey that's not made for you your life your path your journey gonna be different from what mine is 
This is my story. This is my testimony. This is the stuff that I have to go through and deal with. This is not for you. So I want you guys to worry about yourself. Focus on yourself. Stop comparing your life to other people's lives. That's my message. Because y'all know one thing about Joy. She going to keep it real. And I ain't going to sugarcoat and I ain't going to bite my tongue. Because somebody needed to say it. Somebody needed to say this. Because I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of people like, oh, I wish I had this. I wish I had that. It ain't your time to have it right now, baby. It ain't your time. Your time is coming. It's just not your time right now. But my question is. You want something so bad, right? Are you putting in the work to get it? Are you making sacrifices? Are you working hard? Are you striving? Are you not giving up? Are you working towards the things that you want and desire and feel like you need? That's my question. Like, if you doing all of those things, then your time going to come. Until then, stay in your lane. Worry about yourself. Worry about what you got going on and just wait your turn. Y'all have a great and blessed Sunday. Bye.